Um, I'll probably um, ask this of uh, Christina Kennelly if I can. But um, following the overturning of Archbishop Wilson's conviction, and uh, might I say many survivors were disappointed, but ultimately respected the judicial process. In view of that, considering the outpouring of emotion following Cardinal Pell's conviction, and particularly the commentary from uh, many media commentators and very prominent and powerful individuals aligned to Cardinal Pell, um, and I might add also a number of notable what lawyers have also weighed in, uh, publicly discussing prospects of the appeal. After media suppression to ensure Cardinal Pell's trial received a fair trial, do you think current commentary is placing undue influence on the courts and potentially damaging integrity and public perception of any future appeal? Christina Canelli, go ahead. Thanks, Peter. And uh, first of all, I would say anyone who is passing comment on the jury verdict unless they were in the room every day, they heard everything the jury heard, they had access to all the information the jury had, well, they're actually doing a great disservice by have running that public commentary. They're doing a disservice to our democratic jury system, uh, first of all, and I'm quite uh, surprised and distressed that people like John Howard and Tony Abbott, but particularly Mr Howard, are running this type of commentary and providing uh, support publicly for Cardinal Pell following his conviction. I think it's disrespectful of the jury verdict. I also, would, I also would reflect, it's quite disrespectful of victims. The main reason victims often fail to come forward is because they don't believe, they don't think they're going to be believed. And what do we have here? We've had a legal process, due process, a trial, a jury has rendered a decision, and now we have people out there casting doubt on that decision because they say they know this man and they don't believe he could have done it. This is exactly what happens when it comes to child sexual abuse and victims don't think they'll be believed. Now, I still have faith in the integrity of our legal system. I still believe that uh, the Cardinal has a right to lodge his appeal and I believe it will be treated appropriately. But the disrespect that's being shown to the jury and the disrespect that's being shown to victims by this public commentary is, is quite extraordinary and, frankly, it should stop.